So uh, today we're um, hosting events for two of our East popular esports, which is Hearthstone and League of Legends. So first we have a Hearthstone pre-release party. Um, the game releases new expansions, which rotates old content, so it's always fun and always evolving and not being stale, having the same thing all the time. Um, so we have a pre-release party, which is sponsored by both Tespa and Blizzard, which is the company that actually creates the game. Um, that allows them to play with the new cards before it's actually released. You get all kinds of prizes and prize support, as well as like different tournaments. It's just a big community event. Specifically about the Hearthstone event, what it is is it gives people an opportunity where if they uh, pre-purchased the expansion, uh, you can actually come here today and you can open up all your packs, play with your cards, check out what you got beforehand, and you can play with them exclusively here before anybody else gets a chance to. And then also like playing at this specific event, that's a fireside gathering. Gives you the opportunity to get like exclusive rewards and prizes just for coming and like playing with people in person. So it's a really neat experience for everybody. Hearthstone is actually an entirely digitally based card game, so there's no like physical product you actually need, and it's all entirely free to play. You can play it on a pretty much anything that connects to the internet. It's like your phone, tablet, uh, computer. It's all through Battle.net, and it's. Just a two-player card game, just go uh, back and forth, you get like a mana base every turn, so you get, like some card might cost like three mana to play, so you can only, you play that like later on in the game, and just different cards have different abilities and stuff like that, so I guess just like a general overview, it's pretty much like uh, magic. This game, like any other game, can get very competitive, but uh, there's a lot of like uh, RNG or like just randomly generated stuff in between it, so you could be winning and then the next turn completely just go on the other side, like 180. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of salty moments to say within the community. So with League of Legends, um, that is a MOBA, which is um, a m multiplayer online battle arena game. Um, so with that one is you're choosing one of. Um, how many champions, over a hundred different um, characters you can choose from. Each one's going to have a, a number of abilities that you can use, all widely different from the other. And then you basically try to destroy the other team's base before they destroy yours, working as a team. So pretty the um, really simplified version of that. So. Uh, unlike traditional sports, there is no like back and forth scoring here and there. Uh, there is momentum, like in a regular sport, where if a team is scoring basket after basket, they're going to be able to translate the momentum and keep growing their lead. Um, and that kind of works in League of Legends as well. It has a lot of like analogs to like conventional sports. I grew up when I was younger watching stuff like basketball, and each person who's playing League kind of has this, has a similar role to that of like basketball. And I think that's what what's making it spread as much is that unlike you know like a first person shooter or even Hearthstone, it's much easier for people who have no idea what's going on to look at it and be like, oh, that makes sense. This person does that like a center. This person does that. So I think it bridges between like the hardcore gamer aspect and like the you know the regular everyday layman